Hello and welcome back. I'm Harish and in this channel we talk about building anything without coding. And today I have an AI tool that lets you create any AI using data or using the platform itself to generate an entire web application that you can immediately share with your friends or eventually in the future they also say that you can sell your own models or your own applications uh, and monetize them for anybody using them. The tool that we have for today is Magica, which is built by Brain.ai. And uh, let's get into the demo and see what we can build with uh, Magica.ai. We cover two examples through this video. So let's get to it. Right. So once you go to Magica.ai, like you can see on the website itself, we can say it says build a mobile app in minutes, AI at 10 minutes, and it's an, apparently it's a new way to think and uh, create with computers, which is definitely a new way to create with uh, computers. If you scroll down the website, you can see a demo of what you can uh, build using Imagica.ai. Scroll further down, you can also see that uh, you can eventually create mobile applications, and here are some of the things today that you can create using uh, Imagica.ai which is you can create and build functional apps without writing a single line of code. You can create AI functions. You can also chat with uh, the AI that you create and eventually get the responses that you built for the application for. You can also generate images and uh, also you can publish your app uh, once you're done building it. So without further ado, let's uh, see what you can build. Once you create an account, you will need an account for creating an app with Imagica.ai. Let's click login and you should see a dashboard where you can see the list of all the applications that you can create along with templates. Templates are the best way for you to get started quickly and see what is possible through this application. On the left, there are my projects, my functions and templates. Let's go see what are all the templates are available. There are quite a few of them. Like you would say, there's a business app template, education template, travel template, cooking template, image to text template, chat with AI template. And also there are videos that you can quickly watch the tutorials and get started with uh, building on Imagica.ai. What we'll see for the sake of this demo is let's create a new project from scratch. Or as you can see, when you click on new project, it says you can create an AI app or a static website also, or just get the Imagica.ai itself to create a app for you, which is called Auto Imagica. Let's do Auto Imagica first and see what we can create using Auto Magica, which is the AI yeah, itself, it will create an entire app which you can then just say share and then share it with your friends or share it with your potential customers whom you want to try this app with. Like you can see, there are some examples that you can create uh, that that are like a starter that you can use to create the app. There are different types of examples that they offer. But what we'll do is we'll create a simple app which let which creates a travel plan for a particular city or location that you want to travel to. And uh, let's see how it is done. We'll give the basic prompt. So our prompt is when a user enters the location, give create a five-day basic plan for the user, travel plan, and also include what are all the must-visit places in that location, along with some pictures of those places. And also I've asked it to create uh, or get the top YouTube videos from vloggers that have gone to that location and shared uh, their experience of that place. And once you click go it should now start creating the user flow capturing the user input of the location and then also adding all the AI logic that is required like you can see the first block is user location and then it says generate a five day basic travel plan for the user it's running right now as you can see it's running and then it, it is generating all the plan for five days for the user and then you can see there is a generate image search query which essentially generates the pictures of those locations then it uh, does image search and searches for the ideal image for that place which is obviously a common place like you will see and then our next uh, one is generate a youtube video search query which means look for this location on youtube and provide the top uh, bloggers that have gone and shared their videos here which is the output these are all the building blocks essentially for the AI. From It starts from the user's uh, input, which is the location itself or the city or the place where the user wants to travel. On the right, if you can see, it's the page that the end user is going to see where they're going to enter the location and then the output, obviously. 
Now each of these blocks can be published. As you can see, there is a remove from preview. And then this also is a remove from preview. And then this is also a remove from preview. Preview is where these are visible to the end user. I don't think these two options are ideal for the end user because we want to show the location pictures and the YouTube videos only as a recommendation. So we'll just remove these two, but we'll keep the plan because it offers the five day plan in detail for the end user on the application, right? You can also add additional content here by clicking on click, right? You can add additional content into the web application by doing so. And that's the entire application that was built for us. If you can see here, the first one, first block offers the five day plan, right? This is the five day plan. You can scroll through it and see all the options and you can also do more with it, right? What you can do with this is you can also directly give a prompt inside this field or you can click slash and see what are all the available options, which is ask Imagica. You can ask a question based on this response and generate an output and publish that at the end uh, to the end user or you can generate an image, which is something we've already done in the next step already. And then you can add a data source. If you have a data source that you want uh, people to view, you can add that. Uh, it can be a PDF or a CSV or a text file. You can add that and you can also split the output into multiple steps. Uh, let's do split output and see what happens. It should ideally split all these into each step, right? So as you can see, once you split the output, it has split the output into six options, right? So the day one, day two, day three, day four, and the last one is the suggestion, right? So you can split output like I showed. You can drag this and reorganize this as you like. But yeah, that's how you create an entire application using AI with just one single prompt using inbuilt auto Imagica AI. And if you don't like the response or if you have feedback, you can always do the thumbs up or thumbs down against each of these for the AI to understand and generate better responses the next time. And if you don't like any of this, you can always create here and click here and create a new uh, AI application entirely, full-fledged application entirely, right? So that's how Imagica.ai builds an entire application without us doing each of these individual steps. Now let's do another quick demo where we are going to take a programming language input from the user and create a roadmap for them so that it is used, ideal, uh, ideally useful for them to be able to learn a new programming language by following a simple roadmap that is generated by AI, right? For that, we'll go back to the projects page. We'll just save and exit this one. Once you're out here, again, we'll create a new project and this time we'll do an AI app itself because we are going to take the user input and then generate all the responses, right? So I'm going to rename this to programming language or let's say what do you want to learn? And then we'll say uh, TypeScript as an example for this. And then if I click on the plus button here, I have to ask the AI to do something, right? So I want to say, generate a beginner friendly roadmap for the programming language and by the user. I click enter and then it starts generating the roadmap for us on the right. As you can see, it starts generating, there are multiple steps. Right, you can do multiple actions post this also, right? I'm showing you the basic example. This is the example. It generated a seven step roadmap to learn TypeScript, right? And if you obviously the same thing that we did previously where we got the YouTube videos, you can also do the same thing. You can ask, uh, you can, uh, let's, let's just do it. Yeah, what we'll do is let's just split this into multiple uh, sections so that we can get the YouTube videos for each uh, step in, in, as part of the roadmap, right? So. Let's say split output first. It will split the output for us and give multiple steps, right? We have multiple steps here as you can see on the screen, right? So for the first step, what we'll do is I'm clicking on the plus icon and I'm saying slash YouTube. That's it. I don't want to do anything else. Let me just do YouTube and it should give me, yep, relevant examples of YouTube videos for the first step. You can do the same with all the steps. And the last one, as you can see, you can publish this as content for the end users to see, which will appear on the landing page, right? Now, once you're ready with the application, you can say publish, and this should publish as a web application for now. They do have an upcoming feature which lets you publish a mobile app, right? So the application is successfully created. Here is a link to the application. And if you want to share a QR, you can always get a QR from here, and you can scan this on, view this on mobile also works properly on mobile, it's a responsive one. So I'm going to quickly open this and let's see how it looks for the end user. Remember, you can customize the title that appears on the page. You can customize the description that appears on the page so that 
whoever is using this uh, as an AI, AI application can actually uh, understand what they can do with this. So we, we've used TypeScript as the example in the first one. Now I'm going to say Python. Let's say what it generates for me if I want to learn Python or let's say Java. Yeah, Python is very common. Let's say Java and see if it generates a proper beginner friendly roadmap for me from Java, right? Remember we added YouTube for just step one. So let's see if uh, it gets a video for the step one for uh, Java roadmap. Once it is done generating, it should ideally take uh, less than a minute, hopefully. Yeah, less than a minute, clearly. It gave me all the steps, starts with basics, then goes into whoops, then exception handling, then collections and generates, then file handling, multi-threading, covers almost all the uh, programming concepts in Java, including practice in real-world projects, which is amazing. It also gave me specific one for the first one, which is variables and data types which is the part of the first step itself. Imagine what you can create if you create multiple steps and also you can generate schedules, tables from this so that you, users can just copy this and also directly follow this, right? That's imagica.ai for you. Two things we've covered in this video, which is the AI itself creating the entire app or you as a user can create multiple steps. And the last example that I have for you as part of Imagica is to be able to create a an AI app again that takes data and then shares with you insights. This has never been easy before uh, and required data scientists or data analysts to go through large CSV files and then come up with inputs or create graphs or analysis of large data. And let's see how this tool can transform that entire experience and generate us insights from the file we give it, right? Let's go to that demo now. Right, so we are back in our uh, projects page. I'm going to say create new project. AI app is the one I'm going to select. The first node is obviously like you know, is what you want the user to ask. So I'm going to say ask to keep it simple. And I'm going to give an input uh, that the AI will use to extract data from the from the PDF that we're going to give it. So I'm going to say where is the venue? Because the data source I'm going to give you is a PDF file of an event page that happened recently uh, here in Hyderabad, India. So you say plus and click slash data source and you can then upload different types of file formats like PDF, CSV, TXT docs or uh, PDF or, or audio recording as well. So I'm going to say, I'm going to upload my PDF that I have. I just saved a website or an event landing page uh, as, as a PDF and uh, this should use it as a knowledge source and give us the output of where the venue is. The PDF contains information of where the venue is, what is the agenda, who are the organizers of the event, what is the event about, what are the timings and so on. So I'm going to click run and uh, we should see the output. And on the right side uh, is the end user app, which you can publish and share, right? So once you say publish this as input, it should appear here. And uh, this is where I've customized the color theme from light to dark. You can change it. Uh, you've seen light before, so I've added uh, dark here. You can click on the simple edit icon to edit the text here, right? I'm gonna say about the refresh while while this is running. Uh, you can you can choose to keep this or delete it. Yeah, you can delete the uh, label also. And uh, if you want to add additional content, you can always add by clicking here and then publishing whatever you want to publish from here by clicking the publish as content icon. Uh, this should take a few minutes uh, before uh, it shows the insights. Right now it is running. Uh, let's wait and see what the output will be. Ideally, it should be the venue of the event because you submitted a simple PDF, very small a PDF, so it should be faster. But if you have a larger data set, uh, it will definitely take some time to be able to fetch uh, all the details or insights from the from the video for the file that you uploaded to give you the data that you asked about. So that's the output. Like you can see, it has definitely given us the venue from the PDF. And that's how you actually add your own data to gather insights and uh, quickly do it without having to rely on somebody else or a complex process to understand what the data is about and all of that. So that's the demo of uh, Imagica.ai. We've seen three examples where we have built uh, an app, AI app, entirely from the AI itself, Imagica's auto AI. Then we've also created an app where we created a roadmap for a programming language. And the third one is obviously from your own source. You can see how you can generate insights. If you've liked this video, 
drop a like below and also consider subscribing to the channel because this channel is all about building without coding and i will see you in the next one and if you have any ideas or if you have any comments about what you would do using this tool drop them in the comment section below see you in the next one peace